Unit 1. Which career? Read the information about Ali Abdullah, then read the chart below. In groups, discuss what Ali is good at and what his weak areas are. Ali Abdullah, a grade 12 student, recently did some aptitude and personality tests. The tests were designed by psychologists to find out what careers a person is best suited to. Ali's results are shown in the chart below. Ali Abdullah's aptitude and personality chart. Low, average, high, very high. One reasoning, solving difficult problems. Two verbal ability, being good with words. Three numerical ability, being good with numbers. Four perceptual ability, being good with diagrams and pictures. Five mechanical ability, knowing how things work. Six manual skills, working well with your hands. Seven self confidence, belief in your own abilities, desire to succeed. 8. Leadership, making decisions, taking the initiative. Aptitude means one's natural ability to do something. For example, he has an aptitude for science. Means he has a natural ability for science. Ali has done the aptitude and personality tests to find out his strong and weak areas to help him in choosing a career. Answers, strong areas, reasoning, verbal ability, perceptual ability, self-confidence, decision-making average areas, manual skills weak areas, numerical ability, mechanical ability. Read the report below about the result of Ali's tests. Fill in the gaps with the words in the box. Write one word in each gap. Note there is one extra word. Leadership, board, ability, average, communication, dull, challenge, personality. Your high score in reasoning shows that you understand new ideas quickly. You need a career that provides one underscore, you are likely to find routine work very two underscore. Your high verba and perceptual scores show that you would be excellent at jobs which require strong three underscore skills dot you are not so strong with numbers or in mechanical ability dot although you have an four underscore score in working well with your hands your other abilities are stronger for this reason you might become five underscore with work that is mostly hands-on and practical the results of your six underscore tests show that you are confident and have good seven underscore skills. You are not afraid of making decisions. When you aim for something, you keep trying until you succeed. Read the text below as quickly as possible. When you have finished, turn to the reading section on page 60 of your workbook and answer the comprehension questions. Calculate your reading score. Careers of the future. Oman is investing heavily in education and training to create the next generation of leaders in both the business and public sectors. In September 2015, the government organization Zithra ran a series of seminars in Muscat called Oman at Work. The focus was on how the work environment in Oman is changing and the challenges which these changes are bringing. The impact of digital technology on the workplace has been huge. Ithra's Director General for Marketing and Media said, We are living in a world few could have imagined. Even 20 years ago, a world powered by technology, fueled by information and driven by knowledge. The Millennials The Second Seminar 
was called Millennials a Different Work Perspective. Millennials is a name coined for the generation born between 1980 and 2000. It is estimated that by 2025, Millennials will make up 75% of the global workforce. Millennials in Oman are better educated and more diverse than any previous generation. However, they are also more demanding. These young workers want a different kind of working life. To their grandparents and parents. They want a job to be fulfilling, not just bring a salary. In the past, many people had one job and one employer all their lives. But millennials will probably not stay with one employer. They will have shorter careers, but more careers. Research suggests a typical millennial will have had 10 jobs by the age of 38. Entrepreneurs in the future, more people in Oman will work in small businesses and more women will work from home. Many workers are attracted to the idea of becoming an entrepreneur and starting their own business. This is partly because of the huge success of companies such as Facebook, Apple, and Google, and partly because global recession has left some people with no other choice. In 2013, 18% of all adults worldwide, or 29% of the global workforce, were self-employed. STEM, Jobs of the Future The fourth seminar, focused on STEM jobs, science, technology, engineering and mathematics, for a man's future. It was recognized that, not everyone has an aptitude for science. However, it is important for more young people to pursue careers in these fields. Oman needs to encourage students to study STEM subjects in order to ensure the Sultanate's future economic success. Read the text about careers of dot the future on page 17 of your workbook. Circle the best answer for each question below. One Oman is investing heavily in a seminars about work b education and training c the business sectors d digital technology to the focus of the four seminars was a the global work environment b digital technology c the changing work environment in oman d marketing and media Three millennials is a name given to a. The years between 1980 and 2000. b. People born in 1980 and 2000. c. People who will still be working in 2025. d. People born between 1980 and 2000. Four millennials want a. A job that is fulfilling and well paid. b. The same kind of job as their parents. c. 10 different careers. D. To stop working by the age of 38. 5. In Oman in the future, more people will A. Become female entrepreneurs. B. Join Facebook. C. Work from home. D. Work in small businesses. 6. In 2013, 18% of all adults A. Were self employed in Oman. B were self-employed globally. C. Worked from home. D. Became entrepreneurs. 7. STEM subjects are very important for A. Businesses and companies. B. People with an aptitude for science. C. Oman's economic success. D. Government seminars. 8. In future, Oman needs to focus on A people with an aptitude for science. b. Organizing seminars. c. Careers in STEM. d. Encouraging students to study STEM subjects. Calculate your reading score. And write the number of words. Per minute, WPM, into the box below, check your answers. To the comprehension questions. With the text on page 17. Dot write your score into the box below. How to calculate reading speed. Reading speed is usually calculated as words per minute, WPM. 
it can be calculated by using the following formula. The total number of words in the text divided by the time taken to read the text. The time taken to read the text should be expressed in minutes with the number of seconds being converted to decimals. Example, if a text has 5, 4, 6 words and your reading speed is 3 minutes 25 seconds, you would calculate your reading speed as follows. Total numbers of words equal 546. Reading time equals 3.417 minutes. Reading speed equals 546 divided by 3.417 equals 160 words per minute, approximately. Read the text page 17 as quickly as possible. Record the time you start and finish. Turn to the reading section on page 60 of your workbook and answer the multiple choice questions, but without looking back at the text. Calculate your reading speed and record it in the box under the questions. Work with a partner. Turn to communication activity 2. On page 65 of your workbook, interview your partner and fill in their aptitude and personality chart. Ask them what job they think they are suited to and why and record their answers on the lines provided.